How's it going guys? Continuing the cleaner degreaser series. Next up we have Maintex Orange Oxy um, cleaner degreaser spotter. I'm not really expecting much on um, the power of cutting some heavy duty grease, but I have heard some uh, good things about its spotting capabilities, um, uh, carpet cleaning, fabric cleaning. So we're going to give this a try. Again, it's Maintex Orange Oxy. So outside to the tranny casing we go. We have uh, plenty of grease to get off of here. So what we're looking for, as usual, as some of the other ones, or most of the other ones have done, um, you want the foam or what's running off of the casing to be brown, a light brown at least, or dark brown as some of the um, stronger degreasers. Um, this seems to be doing absolutely nothing without agitation. Um, no surprise, I kind of expected it would be more of a uh, medium duty, light duty cleaner and spotter more than anything else. Um, as you can see here, there's hardly any uh, broken down grease or oil even running off after agitation. So very weak at um, cutting and breaking down oil and grease. And this has nothing to do with this test here, but I... I never really got along with the um, citrus based products or citrus infused cleaners to begin with. Um, I don't like the odor and I never found that they were strong enough to, to get it done. Uh, so we're going to come back inside. I have a wheel with grease, oil, uh, a little bit of brake fluid, everything caked on there collecting dirt. And um, we'll just use a detail brush. Bristles are soft, soft to medium on this one here. I have it cut a little shorter so it's a little bit more aggressive. And we'll just use this, agitate it, and uh, we'll rinse and we'll come in. You can see here it has no problem with the loose, non-bonded um, light dirt, but with the heavier caked on stuff, it, it really struggles. The label reads the same as pretty much most of the others, safe on stainless steel appliances, granite stone surfaces, all-purpose carpet um, spotting. Um, it says heavy-duty degreaser, but it's uh, proving not to be very heavy-duty at all. Um, it's a pre-treat for laundry. So let's rinse this off and take a closer look. It, um, it definitely removed the lighter non-bonded uh, contaminants. It, uh, it really struggled with the caked on thicker stuff. And there's still plenty on there that could be gone over a second or maybe even a third time to get it uh, removed completely. And we'll go back out to our uh, familiar trailer out in the, uh, the junkyard. This one here we've tested on uh, so many products and I know how they react on it. So I like to come back here for something to compare these products to. Heavy hitters would have already reacted just with this light brushing of the uh, detailed brush. So we're going to have to come in like some of the um, medium and light duty cleaners basically uh, you have to come in and scrub them pretty hard what you see running down the side now is basically what you see with the heavy-duty um, degreasers like purple power uh, super clean spray nine and that wouldn't have been with any agitation at all. Okay, as for some spot cleaning on carpet and fabric, I've heard some half-decent things about it. So we're going to get that a try. I have two spots here on fabric upholstery in the trunk here. We'll simply apply it, 
just agitate it lightly, come in, mop off what's on the top, whatever is loose, and uh, see what it has um, removed. All right, so that looks pretty decent there. Whatever that was, I'm not sure what it was. It was caked on and thick, um, but it broke it down. It removed it. We're going to move on to whatever this blue stain is back here. Again, this one here is hard. It's uh, not very much of it, but it's uh, it doesn't come up with a regular vac or just a, uh, a dry agitation. And again, we finally have another um, little bit of success with the spot cleaning. So we'll step it up a little bit. I have a mat that has some spotting to take care of. We'll do this little section on the left here and see what it does. All right, that's going to be enough scrubbing. Let me back off the area real quick here and we'll take a look, see what it's done. Okay, so there you got to see what it does and you can decide for yourself if you want to add it to your inventory. That was the Maintex Orange Oxy. So as expected, the Maintex wasn't um, extremely powerful for the thick, um, heavy layering of grease. Uh, it would do half decent on light to medium duty maintenance work or cleanup work. Um, but it did okay at spotting and um, carpet and fabric cleaning. Um, so a solid B minus C plus for the um, Maintex Orange Oxy Cleaner. As usual, I'll put a link down below. Um, we have a uh, we have a huge list. Um, you guys have been great adding stuff to the list. We got a long way to go, but if you still want to add some, don't hesitate. Put it down in the comment box. Brian from Apex Detail. We'll catch you guys next time.